Hey everyone, uh, first off I want to start by wishing you all a happy new year um, and the reason that I am recording this is because today, besides being January 2nd, the day after um, New Year's Day, it is also World Introvert Day. So happy World Introvert Day to all of my fellow introverts. Um, I don't know how or when the whole day got started, but I do know that it happens immediately after the holiday season for a reason. Um, you know, the whole holiday season, it's a time where a lot more social gatherings are happening and, um, you know, there's just more human interaction. And although this past holiday season was very different um, because of COVID, I'm sure that a lot of people were still, you know, connecting virtually just to have that contact. And, um, you know, I think just with all of that socializing, it can be exhausting for anyone, but especially, um, it can be especially exhausting um, if you're an introvert. Um, because, you know, it's socializing really isn't, doesn't come uh, naturally um, to introverts and it takes a, a bit more effort uh, for us. So we, you know, a lot of us can wake up on January 2nd with uh, what's called the introvert hangover. And it is a thing, you can look it up and you'll find articles on it, but um, the introvert hangover is not caused by indulging in too much champagne, although I've woken up with some of those before. Um, but an introvert hangover is caused by uh, a lot of socializing, and um, I can attest to it because uh, I've experienced introvert hangovers, but at the time, before I learned that there was a phrase for it, I didn't know that that's what it was. Um, and it usually happens after a lot of just, um, if you, you know, after going to like an event or after just you know being in a in a group setting with a lot of people, um, you know there have been times when you know I would you know go home just feeling really tired, just thinking okay I've had a busy day, but then I would wake up just feeling like, you know, um, my throat hurting or feeling as if I was coming down with a cold and it coming out of nowhere, even though I was fine the day before, um, and then as the day would go on, I would feel I would feel fine. Um, so I eventually learned that um, that that is called an introvert hangover. So, um, but if you've been following me for a while, you may recall that uh, last year for um, World Introvert Day, I did a special blog post where I opened up about my um, introversion and my experience being an introvert. Um, and it was important for me to do that because at the time I had recently come across a few resources that I found very enlightening and were very helpful um, in helping me learn more about myself. Um, back in 2019, um, I had actually come across um, some resources and books on the topic of introversion that just completely blew my mind, um, mainly because although I've known for a long time I'm an introvert, I really didn't, um, I didn't realize that there was a lot more to the topic um, besides, you know, whether or not, you know, you're, you're social or you're not social. Um, I just, I thought, well, if you're an extrovert, you're social. And if you're an introvert, you're not a social. And so um, I've always had a challenging time socializing and, um, you know, had difficulty with things like, you know, making connections or making friends. So um, I just thought that, well, I'm an introvert and that's all there is to it. Um, but there's actually, you know, just a plethora of um, like research out there um, on the topic of introversion. And, um, you know, one before I kind of continue, um, I'm sure a lot of you've heard the terms introvert and extrovert kind of like tossed around. But I mean, essentially the, you know, one of the core differences is that an extrovert recharges and gets energy by socializing and, um, you know, with human making, you know, human interactions. Um, whereas an introvert get, uh, recharges and gains energy um, by being alone and in solitude. So just kind of a little, just to give you a little perspective about what the difference is between the two terms. But I mean, that is just a, a very just succinct definition. There's, there's so much more to the introvert topic. 
um, and I'm going to list a few of the resources that have really helped me. Um, I'll put some in the caption and then I also list some in my blog post as well, which that blog post, um, I put the link back up in my Insta bio for anyone interested in, in reading um, about that in my experience. Um, but, you know, the reason um, it was important for me to kind of just kind of jump on here and make this video and share uh, just some of my thoughts on um, introversion is because up until recently, um, you know, before I, I started learning about um, more about that part of myself, you know, I've gone through the majority of my life thinking that there was something wrong with me, to be quite honest. And when I was doing my research and, you know, reading all of these sources, um, one of the things I found is that a lot of introverts actually believe and kind of go through life thinking that there's something wrong with them because of, um, you know, the lack of social skills, because it's harder for us to uh, to make connections, um, because we process information in a different way. It, um, you know, I know for me, I don't speak up. It's difficult for me to speak up in group settings, and it's difficult for me to think of things on the spot. Like, I'm not a very quick thinker um, in terms of, um, you know, being in a group setting. And if you know, it's time to, you know, share and shoot out ideas. It takes me a while. Um, it's always taking me a while to really think of how I want to say something before it leaves my mouth. And this would happen to me a lot, like in, in, act, like in school settings where, you know, the topic would interest me. And it's not that I didn't have ideas or things I wanted to say about the topic, but it just, it takes me longer to put my thoughts into words before I speak. And so all of these things were just um, aspects of myself that, you know, since I was a teen, I just, um, it made me really think that there was something, something wrong with me, that there was like a defect, something was wrong with like my brain. I just, you know, why was it so much easier for other people um, to think uh, on a quicker level or to socialize or be more outgoing and you know why wasn't why wasn't that me um, and so when I was you know came across these sources and realized that these are thoughts and feelings that a lot of introverts have um, I really felt motivated and inclined to share and open up about you know me being an introvert and how it's been for me um, you know because I can only speak for myself um, not all introverts um, you know we're not all gonna have the same experience but I think there is enough to kind of like where we all can like just relate to the same struggles um, you know I think that there were a lot of things about myself that I didn't understand that I now know, know were due are due to my introversion but you know, not knowing as a teen and even through my 20s and um, it made me really self-conscious and I wasn't the most confident person. Um, you know, I'm I'm 35 now and only just recently, a couple years ago, started learning about all of this um, about myself and am now starting to kind of gain back that confidence. But, you know, I started thinking, I'm like, if if this is how I feel and I'm only just starting to learn, you know, about myself and that, you know, I, that there's nothing wrong with me, that I'm perfectly fine. I'm just wired differently. How many more people, how many more introverts out there are struggling and feel, um, and feel self-conscious because they aren't aware that, you know, they're just on a different, um, they're just wired differently and that it's it's okay but you know I think that there's probably a lot of introverts that aren't aware of the things that I've come to learn and they probably feel just um, you know incompetent or just you know not confident so I I really just want to kind of put this message out there to reach as many introverts as, as possible because I think that the more you learn about yourself um, you know the more positive I think you'll become and you'll gain a more um, you know confident outlook on the way you are and how you do things um, one of the actually the first books that I um, had come across that I read on the topic was um, this one right here the introvert advantage by uh, Marty Olson Laney but I'm gonna um, list this one in the um, caption and I also mentioned it in my blog post but Oh my god, it was, it's so, 
that book was so eye-opening um, and after I read that I just started devouring whatever I could find on the topic um, it just gave me such a different outlook on myself and how I do things um, you know because one of the things you know I mentioned that you know for a long time I thought that there's something wrong with me and um, you know I kind of came to a point and I mentioned this in my blog post where I was looking up my person my personality traits as if they were symptoms of like a larger mental problem and the closest thing I could find to it was um, schizoid personality disorder and so for you know a long time I was too self-conscious to go to a therapist to find out if that's what it was but you know there was so much when I when I looked up the personality disorder things like um, you know not feeling comfortable socializing preferring to be alone um, you know uh, having a hard time um, like showing emotion I just was like this this has to be me like so this is what has been my problem this entire time and the funny thing is is that um, Marty um, Olson Laney actually mentions schizoid personality disorder in her book The Introvert Advantage and she comments that a lot of times introversion gets mistaken um, with the schizoid personality disorder so when I read that it just was it just made so um, there's so many things that just kind of made sense for me and clicked um, you know I think that social media can um, be kind of one-sided um, at times and I think that you know I post a lot of um, blog related content and I think before the whole uh, COVID happened and you know quarantine um, I was going to a lot of events and I think by the things I was posting you know posting things at like events where there's a lot of people and I would post photos of myself with you know people there um, I think it might seem that I'm a lot more outgoing than what I actually am um, when in truth I am like one of the most socially awkward like I'm I'm just I'm so socially awkward um, you know I normally when I would um what I would usually do when I would go to these events is I would just I would introduce myself to um to people but I would just try to make it as like quickly as possible before I made it socially awkward for both of us so I would just kind of like introduce myself explain why I was there and then make my exit before I made anything weird or spewed word vomit um, but I'm I am a very socially awkward person and um, I do have a challenging time uh, networking and uh, those things don't come naturally to me and uh, you know there was actually a couple of people that follow my blog that were surprised and they you know they had commented like you an introvert you know or would never have been able to tell and it's important for me to share things like that because I think that if years ago I wouldn't have thought that I would be putting myself out there the way I do now but um, I think that even though you know I, I am a more quiet person and you know, I, I don't have, um, you know, the type of personality that comes across as very bold or assertive that may be very, you know, it's, it's not, you know, I'm not very uh, attention grabbing, but I think that, you know, I'm able to kind of network and, and make connections in, in other ways that, um, you know, in ways that are easier for, for me to, to kind of socialize. But I don't want people, other people out there, other introverts out there thinking that, you know, their more quiet nature um, is something that will hold them back because they aren't more outgoing or they feel that they, you know, because they're not the life of the party that, you know, they're, that they're going to miss out on, op on opportunities. Um, you know, I think that one thing I've been learning is that there is strength in, you know, your quiet nature and as an introvert you have different strengths to offer the world and you can excel at any of the goals that you know you have your mind set on uh, you don't have to you know feel as if your introversion is a flaw or something that's going to inhibit you from advancing and um, you know, I think that if I knew a lot of this when I was younger, it would have helped me a lot more. But um, that's why I'm hoping to maybe put some of these this information out there, um, you know, especially for the younger generation so that, you know, they 
can have a more positive outlook on life. Um, you know, I think that 2020 was a really just strange year. It's still strange. And I think that we all struggled in our own way. And, you know, I think with it being a new year, I have, you know, hope that things will be better for us this year. And I just, you know, I don't want anyone starting off the year thinking that, you know, you can't um, do certain things um, or feel held back for any reason. And so, I mean, hopefully, um, you know, a bit of what I've shared here will, you know, help you introverts who have been feeling self-conscious that this, hope, you know, gives you more of a positive outlook on the coming year and maybe more motivation to just kind of really tackle those things that you've been wanting to do. Um, but okay, I don't want to really make this too much longer. So um, if you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll answer them to the best of my ability. I hope that this was as clear as could be. Um, but if you have like questions, comments, I want to hear. Um, if you know of other resources on the topic of introversion, um, please um, please suggest them because I'm always looking for more books and things to content to read on the topic. Um, and yeah, and then um, check out the link in my Insta bio. Uh, there's I just go into more depth um, about my experience that I think it'll give more insight um, as far as uh, into me personally and then I also link in that within that blog post I also link to another blog post I did about being an introvert um, during quarantine so you know I just hope that maybe some of you find it um, you know helpful if you're struggling at all with um, you know your introversion but um, all right well thank you for listening to me and um, take care everyone